messed up my uh, plastic dip on my rim. Come over here and show that. So you can see that there's uh, my rim showing there. So what I'm going to do is show this some paint thinner. I'm going to make it real nice and smooth, and then I'm going to repaint it. See if I can get it to uh, look as good as it did. All right, so let's take it with my finger, rub it along the edge until it gets smooth. And I can feel it on my fingertips that it's uh, kind of taking away the the excess paint that was there. Just want to make it to where I can paint it, and there wouldn't be a raised level when I. Uh, Respray it. Just keep your hand nice and wet until it gets smooth. And then uh, I'll run some mineral spirits to clean the area. And then respray it. Now, I didn't take a picture of what was previously there. Once you hit the curb, the paint kind of lifted up and uh, I don't know, splintered off, to, for lack of better words. And the paint thinner has done a nice job of kind of evening everything out. And it'll leave a real nice flush surface. I can't say if the Plasti Dip will do what it would used to do, like peel off, but we'll find out if I ever peel this paint off. So it's pretty smooth now. And I'm pretty sure when I respray this, it'll hardly notice. So. All right, got to the surface everything cleared up took some mineral spirits and kind of cleaned it up to where I can get most of the oil and grease and stuff and you can kind of see I'm hoping that when I blend this paint in this stuff is kind of peeling away so this is an experiment you know just to help everybody out while I try it but see if I can get the uh, new plastic dip to bond to that it looks nice and flush and uh, we'll see so took the uh, like I said mineral spirits clean it up just get all the oil kind of the dirt and grime off of it before I spray paint it and uh, just about to start spray painting now see if it comes out good so we'll see happy with the way it turned out you can almost not even tell that there's even dents in the rim itself I'm gonna take it off while it's still got a little wetness to it in hopes that I can get some of the plastic dip off with the tape which doesn't appear is gonna happen that's all right that's why I like leaving a little bit of just barely any room on the edge because if the blasty dip doesn't come off very easy it's almost like I don't even care about taking it off the tire itself so eventually it kind of wears off it came out really good so that all being said the way it came out is looks nice I mean you're talking about plasty dip in your room so it's not going to look like brand new set of rims you're popping on there but uh, for the most part you know you got some old rugged rims that don't look as good as they did once before plasti dip them and then uh, like I did my wife crushed a curb come in here and touch up so the only thing that I can't really uh, verify 
is that if I peel this back, it's going to act like, you know, you would originally done the Plasti Dip since I used uh, paint thinner and then uh, mineral spirits to clean it up. I don't know if that, I don't know, takes the elasticity away from it, but uh, as far as what I'm thinking now, I'm thinking it'll uh, come out uh, just fine. And I sprayed it a little sloppy, so I could see a slight line, but from the distance and from anyone else that doesn't know it's a painted rim, you can't even tell. So. I'm happy with it. Um, you know, try it out. I might try to peel it off later one of these days to see if it peels off just as good as it, the original coat. Uh, but uh, until then, I'll leave it as is. Uh, successful experiment, if you ask me.